were the best in this game. Bro. What the wavy wavy into command grab three times. No, nah, that was crazy. And I'm sure you can hear this crowd. <laughs> the down two. Disgusting. If he would have broke right there, oh my gosh, bro. That would have been so fire if he broke right there. Yo, what a do YouTube. I'm going to be doing finally another episode of the Inside My Mind series. And on this episode, we're going to run it back with Nicholas. So if you guys don't know, I recently got back from Evo 2022. I ran into Nicholas, who's one of the godlike twins of the twin pair of uh, brothers that are 17 years old from Chile. Long story short, I did get second at this tournament, so I was able to end one of the brothers' runs, and this is going to be that brother. So anybody that's new to the Inside My Mind series, I'm basically just going to analyze the, the footage and just break down the decisions I made during it. That was a horrible drop to start the round. I honestly was like... Jesus, this is going to be a long set if I just drop some, something so easy like that. I mean, going based off this first round, you wouldn't think I did well. But he's playing Cabal, and this character is so hard to contain, um, especially at a high level when players make it really hard to hit them and make it really hard to anti -air them. If anybody was confused as to why I played Kotal and never switched from Kotal is because um, Nikolas and his brother both play a plethora of characters that are hard to cover and Kotal seemed just like the perfect fit where I could just play him and not worry about whatever character they switch to. Um, yeah, I, w I didn't play Kano because they know how to play Kano and they're literally just going to counterpick me because they play a bunch of characters. And I didn't want to go Johnny because I lost last tournament. And I, I kind of wanted to play a character that had a little bit more dirt to him. Johnny Cage is a little too honest. That was an insane micro duck. That was such a good read. Honestly, this round was so dominant. I turned it around completely. Yeah, I, I remembered fighting him that he had the back throw KB. Uh, I, it was really annoying having to uh, constantly be worried about him back throwing me for the the crushing blow this is such a good round it went from a horrible round to me just instantly off of two hits having the health lead yeah let's go back let me touch up on that the fact that i read him throwing me so many times just i cannot believe he threw me he tried to throw me two times in a row i just read his grab and then he tried to throw me again I feel like I was doing a pretty good job of mixing his command grab and his striking uh, so that the opponent kind of didn't know what to do on defense. If they sat there too long, they were getting grabbed. If they didn't, if they didn't budge. Um, you know, if they, okay, if they sat there too long, they were getting grabbed. And if they were trying to squirm too much, they were getting hit. So, trying to find that heavy balance between command grabbing and just striking for 30%, 40%. It was kind of a really random call out. Yeah, this round is boss ass. Yeah, that, that game was horrible. I probably command grabbed him twice, but outside of that, I didn't make any right decisions that game. So something that I was doing a really good job of was flaws blocking uh, his jump-ins and then deciding to command grab him after. So whenever the ball can jump in, he usually does jump three and then slight gases and then does another jump in. But when you flaws block him, you take the ability away for him to do the slight gas. So knowing that I flaws blocked it, I would just command grab because a lot of people kind of just freeze up when they get. Oof. Nicholas is gonna this sit is scary. I was a little bit nervous as to what was gonna happen. Maybe this is more scary watching it than no when I was playing it, honestly. Minus frames, kind of south for floor, didn't fight. Only the forward two hits, so there's no confirmation. Oh my god. The jump back's good. That was annoying. He sat there that whole time. I could have come back grab, but I was like, so scared. I didn't want to kill myself. That was really good discipline. He really sit, sat there and took that forward two, even though I had um I had the damage above totem on. For anybody that doesn't know, of course, the blue totems that I'm summoning right there 
um, they deal ex they allow me to deal extra damage. And as you can see, boom, what was that 41? Bro, that was so good. So every totem that I stack, it's, a, it's an extra damage. That was such a bad drop. It was embarrassing. That was an embarrassing drop. I literally out neutraled him, out footsied this man, and then instantly just dropped. I could have lost. I'm just so happy I had a huge, fat health lead. I'm just glad that hold up read was correct, man. Ooh, that was close. Frame, Making so a mistake versus Cabal is so two, detrimental. This man hits like a truck, bro. It. The jump two, really good. The down one, steal the a conversion. Great conversion. I know I had another insane risky. conversion here. What? I can't believe I converted that, bro. It was like everything was working. Every time I did that versus them, that whole tournament, I was getting they they would get up and punish me before the second hit came out. But right there, he didn't. What? So lucky right here. Look, 4-2, missed. And he somehow didn't punch me. Bro. Nah, that was crazy. Disgusting. If he would have broke right there, oh my gosh, bro. That would have been so fire if he broke right there. Nicolas needing a miracle. Rewind grab in the air as I am on commentary. Yo, look at how close cool it is. I don't even want to talk. The stagger game. The scary. That's the last breakaway. Nicholas is going to get in this round. The up three for the safety. No, I was playing it safe right here. And then, bro, when he hit me with this, I was like, oh, freak. I was like, god damn. I was like, bro, don't choke. Don't choke. Please don't choke. Please. What's the decision going to be? Is Rewind going to risk a wake up? No, but don't ever risk Man, this entire time, guys, I tell you, bro, I was looking at my health bar, as you can see on the top left. I was waiting to see. I was like, please give me enough. Uh, please deal enough damage for me to get Fatal Blow. All I was thinking is, if he gives me Fatal Blow, boy, am I going to anti this man with Fatal Blow. And he better not jump at me. I cannot believe he jumped at me. On. That was so good, man. Look at that, bro. Look at that crowd. The crowd was massive, man. Nah, that crowd was loud. The video doesn't even do it justice, guys. Like, I've never been... I've been competing for around, like, five years now. I've never heard a crowd that loud for any NRS game. Not for Sonic Fox. Maybe the only comparable amount of um, loudness was when Honeybee made that, uh, that run in 2017 with Flash. But outside of that, dude, I don't know. That was crazy. I'm not even trying to gas myself up. That was a insane amount of energy. And you have to thank the Chilean brothers, man. They they really um they really shook up the scene with their talent. I mean, they just came out of nowhere. Just one CEO, one Colin Breaker, one Colin Breaker. It was a it was both of them in grand finals, and they really just kind of added a new little storyline um to the NRS scene. And for me to come in and be the first person to um eliminate one of the twins from the tournament not but previously the only people to beat them were each other like they've never lost to anybody i mean they've they've lost to okay so nick lost lost to kakui as ceo but outside of kakui i'm the only person who's actually straight up eliminated um one of the twins so um props to them and they honestly have made the scene what it is right now man so that's gonna wrap up the end of the video guys if you enjoyed it drop a sub to the channel drop a like and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.